Constitution Day, September the 17th. It was on this day in 1787 that our founding fathers signed the U.S. Constitution, but it's not always been known as Constitution Day. In 1940, Congress passed a resolution and asked that the third Sunday in May be set aside to recognize those who had become American citizens. And it was called I Am an American Day. Well, in 1952, Congress repealed that and came out with another one and said, hey, let's take September the 17th and let's call it Citizenship Day, because that's when we signed the Constitution, and we want all the authorities of the United States to teach on the Constitution and promote the Constitution and their particular entities. And then in 2004, Senator Robert Byrd out of West Virginia said, let's have all the schools and all the agencies do this. And so they passed a law that now calls it Constitution Day and Citizenship Day. And so on that day, schools, if they receive federal funds, are to set aside special programs on the Constitution. Now, studies have shown that 90% of schools don't do that. They don't study the Constitution. They don't talk about it. They don't mention it. And most folks don't even know it. Do you know we found in polling that 48% of those who are elected to public office can't even name the three branches of government? That's one of the easiest things in the Constitution. We just don't teach it anymore. This is an 1828 textbook. This is an elementary textbook. And every kid used to have questions on the Constitution. I don't know if most judges today could pass this or not, but this is what we started with. And they're not that hard of questions, but it's a good starting place. If you go to wallbuilders.com, you can see this. We'll have a copy of this. That we'll just You'll be able to download the PDF of this book, Stanbury's Catechism on the Constitution, and you can see if you know the Constitution.